Hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my Blu-ray update for the week beginning uh, October 13th, 2019. And this is my digital code number doorway number 83, I believe. I can never remember, but I'm going to think it's 83. Let's go with that. <laughs> that sounds good. Anyway, I bought two movies, and uh, I got one from my collection to make it three. Okay, so let's get right to it. Let's back delay. Let me, uh, if I can get through this bag. Okay, here we go. Okay. So the one movie I ordered was actually when I was on the train coming back from the movies, <laughs> and you know, because I wanted to get the steel book of this because I'm, you know, uh, like I said, steel books have gone up and they're like, ridiculously overpriced than what they used to be. Uh, but this movie is an exception. This is a really good movie, and I have the steel books. I think of the first two movies. I gotta get the steel book of the third movie. Okay, so to make it three, because I think they they all came in a row, but now they're like Disney's like really releasing all these movies on steel books, but they. It's still kind of high priced, <laughs> but actually lower than actually than what this one is. But again, and when this movie uh, was first announced, I said I thought Toy Story, you know, had wrapped up perfectly. But they surprised me with this movie, and they actually topped themselves. Okay, so I have Toy Story four. There it is, a really really good sequel. I, again, they surprised me how good this was. This movie, because I thought, like I said, they wrapped up the story perfectly fine. But the fact that they made another one and they made it really, really good, that says a lot about them. Okay, and that really does. So, again, so this has a, a digital code, so I'll be giving this away. This is the 4K, which I don't have 4K, stuff, but Blu-ray, and it has the digital code. But, again, I got it for the steelbook and for the movie itself because I love uh, Toy Story movies. Like I said, I absolutely love all of them. And, like I said, I thought it wrapped up perfectly fine. But then when they decided to make a fourth one, I was kind of worried that they would live up to the hype. But boy, did it live up to the height. Okay, and put it that way. Anyway, uh, and the next thing I got is a, a series, a TV series, actually. Um, this is the second one from the DC streaming service. Okay, and um, like I said, I have Titans from, I got Titans from before, season one. And now I have the Doom Patrol, which I wasn't expecting to come out, but it did come out. And boy, this is a complete first season with quirky, grag reel, and all new deleted scenes. This show really surprised me how good this show was. It's a little offbeat and stuff, but it's really, really good. This is, uh, this I think this was the show, because people were kind of half and half on Titans, but this is the show that really made people uh, say, oh, you know, that the DC streaming service is worth investing in, because the Doom Patrol was great. Love all the characters, in it, but a special, uh, special uh, to Crazy Jane, played by Diana Guerrero, which is that character right there, her. She plays a character with multiple personalities, and boy, there's a couple of episodes where she really, but all throughout the series, but there's a couple of episodes where she really shines, and she's just, she's an amazing actress, because she goes from these different personalities and stuff on a flip of a dime, and she is really, really good. But all the actors on this show are really good, too, and I like the backstories and stuff are really, and the story is, and special mention to, where's this guy, what's the, what's the guy who mostly does, he acts, but he also does a lot of voice work. What's the, the guy that plays Mr. Nobody? Uh, Alan Tudyk. Okay, he was in uh, uh, Firefly, the TV show, and he's been in a couple of movies and stuff. But he's mostly known for his voice work and stuff. But he is really good as uh, Mr. Nobody. <laughs> Again, this this show, if you haven't seen it, you should see it. Okay, I, just, I definitely recommend you get the DC streaming service because... Again, I think it's going to fold into, uh, eventually when Warner Meteor comes out, I think they're going to fold these shows into that. And uh, this should definitely uh, be one of the shows. Uh, well, we already know, I think it's coming back for a second season. But this season was absolutely fantastic. Again, especially love Diana Guerrero. She was fantastic. I know she was in the Orange is the New Black. I think that was the only other thing that I know she her from. But she really rocked in this show. She deserves an Emmy. They nominate the show for that. <laughs> she she deserves some kind of acting award because she really blew blew me away with her uh, her acting from all the different personalities and stuff. She's really good in it. And like I said, all the characters are good in this. And I'm I'm definitely wondering if they're gonna bring Cy Cyborg, who was in this, if he eventually is gonna transition over to Titans. But we'll see if that goes that way. Anyway, but definitely this is digital code. Definitely uh, whoever runs that, they're gonna they're in for a treat because that is a great show. I really really enjoyed it. Can't wait for season two. Oh, and they definitely should bring back Swamp Thing. Okay, I, Swamp Thing, I really enjoyed that first season. It's a shame they canceled it because I think they canceled it 
because the producer screwed up or whoever was in charge of getting the uh, their, um, the rights or something, the tax, taking out the tax situation and stuff. And I think that the state of Georgia or wherever they filmed it at really hammered the uh, production with in terms of taxes. And I think that's why I think the powers that be at Warner Brothers got pissed off and decided to cancel the show because that was, you know, it was a kind of a petty reason to me in effect, in effect because the show was good. Swamp Thing was getting good, too. So, anyway, left my ramblings on that. Okay, and so I had to pick another movie for my uh, collection, so I picked Spider-Man Homecoming, which is kind of ironic since the other one, Spider-Man Far From Home, came out the, the other week. But anyway, this is Spider-Man Homecoming, okay, which is the first movie with Tom Holland and spider Well, not the first movie, but, you know, the first solo movie with uh, uh, Tom Holland and Spider-Man. Fantastic movie. Uh, Tom Holland is the... <laughs> Perfect Spider-Man, Peter Parker, definitely worth getting. And again, so this has digital code. I'll be giving this away as well. So those will be three movies: Spider-Man: Homecoming, The Doom Patrol, which is a great TV show, and Toy Story 4. Those are some good, uh, I think, good selections this week. So again, just do the uh, do the thing. You know, just let me know which one you want to play for. Again, the only rule: you got to be a subscriber to my channel. And again, just let me know. And uh, we'll, you know, pick the winners and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so good luck to everybody at the end. Okay, and again, I guess this is my way of giving back and, let, and spreading, the, spreading the joy to the people, let them enjoy the you know, movies and spreading my love of movies to, to the masses. Okay, copacetic, copacetic. Anyway, uh, let me know what you think of these titles and what movie you want. Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. I have links to my social media in the description box, my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I also have a link to my other channel, Fuzzies and Pins. Please check that out as well. And again, I like what people did last week uh, in their comments. They put their either their Instagram or their uh, Twitter or their email up. So I keep, keep doing that. So that way nobody can try to take your movie from you, kind of pretend to be you. Okay? So anyway, take care. Be well. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.